students let us continue the topic organism and population so today we will discuss population attributes nine population attributes we will discuss a population that has attributes that an individual organism does not have some of them are given below like population size or density so what are the population attribute the first one is population size the second one is birth rate that is natality then mortality and after mortality there is sex ratio so these are population attributes so population size or density is the number of individuals of a species per unit area or volume so that is pd is equal to n by s so you get pd is equal to n by s that is number of individuals in a region that is capital n and divided by size of unit area in the region that is s now birth rate or natality is the number of birth of new individual per unit of population per unit time and then death rate mortality is the number of loss of individuals per unit of population per unit time due to death so and sex ratio is the individual is either a male or a female but a population has a sex ratio that is with the number of female and males per thousand individual of a population in a given time so that is the number of females number of female per thousand males so that this is the ratio sex ratio now we will discuss after this age pyramid now what is age pyramid there are two kinds of age pyramid and the first one is a stable then a uh, expanding one and then a declining one so there are three kinds of age pyramids population at any given time is composed of individuals of different ages so when the age distribution per person individuals of that age group is called age pyramid now this is can be stable <coughs> expanding and declining one now population growth the population growth is now what is population growth that is if you write n in the middle that is population size or density then it is affected by four factors and that is this is birth rate <coughs> then immigration then immigration and mortality rate that is death rate so these are the four factors that affects so this is the plus side immigration is a plus side birth is a plus side that is a negative factor that means that helps to make it less so what is natality you know so the size of population for any species is not a static parameter it keeps changing with time and natality is the number of birth and immigration is the number of individuals of the same species that have some come into the habitat so this adds the population density but these two that is of immigration and death is the population size is decreasing the percent so out of this four natality immigration contribute to the increase in population density and mortality and immigration contribute to the decrease in the population density so what is the formula that is after a time so if nt we say then you will get nt plus 1 that means uh, the next year you will get the formula nt that is plus b plus i that is birth plus immigration that is minus d plus e that is death plus immig immigration so this gives you the population density at the time t and that's the density at the time t plus 1 is equal to this is the formula now we will come to growth models and what are the growth models here The growth 
model this explain the exponential growth and logistic growth two types of growth so this one is the real exponential growth and logistic growth now what is exponential growth there is a graph you can see this is the way how the population is rising and this one is a k is a carrying capacity then you will get d n dt is equal to r n so this here is the time this is the time in x axis and this is the population density that is n so in the exponential growth this is dependent on availability of resource that is food and space is essential for the growth of population there are unlimited availability results in population's exponential growth and here dn dt is equal to rn that is n is the population size b is the birth per capita d is the death per capita t is the time period and r is the intrinsic rate of increase and k is the carrying capacity now what is k here earth supports um, um certain amount of population to survive happily that is carrying capacity what earth can support so any species growing exponentially under unlimited resources uh, without any check can reach enormous population densities in a short time but this is not real because unavailability of the resources cannot be there for the long term so the next one is the graph that is showing a logistic one and where we see there is first increase and then it becomes a constant it is a s shape and here the carry this is the carry capacity okay carry capacity and here dn by dt is equal to rn k minus n by k so here dn by dt is equal to r that is the rate of increase rn into k minus n by k so this is the formula that you get which is a real one so the second sigmoid kind of growth curve that is actually uh, discovered by fold hurst pearl so it is known as pearl hurst pearl logistic growth and where carrying capacity determines the population and there is a checked availability of resources is checked so the population shows a sigmoid kind of growth curve it is a limited resource the lag phase this is the lag phase the log phase and then the stationary that is the constant phase so this is more realistic because no population growth can sustain exponential growth independently as there will be competition for the basic needs due to time increases so go through ncert thank you